Alrighty, so scrolling through the list of potential uh, candidates for the Bond team, I remembered that I do have a <laughs> Christmas Lilia at this point, and uh, the, the cool thing about her is her Holy Relic is increases the hero's basic stats by 10% for every debuff effect on the enemy, which should be insanely easy to do. Obviously, the biggest thing here is that she's human, so easy peasy we'll get easy 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 debuffs off with this team so uh, i'm in geared because honestly i don't have all of her outfits invested in too don't tell anybody that but um yeah we're gonna try to hopefully go first so that way we can do big damage turn one and it'll be a cool time so uh, either way let's hop in if you're new to the channel you want to subscribe that'd be super cool we're on the way to 15k and uh yeah lots of uh lots of bond content to make so uh if, <laughs> if you like bond uh if you don't like bond uh no kind of one of those things uh we do have a sins team okay decent cc which is pretty interesting um I have a level two that I could potentially go for. I don't think I want to go for the level two just yet. I'm I'm not gonna rely on the Lilia just yet. I do wanna see what she can do, but I'm also extremely scared that uh, I'm gonna overestimate and just assume that she can do insane damage and uh, she might drop the ball a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we have stance up. We should be f fine for this turn. Um, the big thing here is that she is going to stance and we are going to do less damage because of the way that that works. But uh, I am interested nonetheless. So we're going to throw on the debuff with Bond to set up for his card just in case. And then we're going to hit with the level 2 Flood card. She has not... Well, she's taken like a tiny bit of damage from Gother, of course. But nothing too crazy. Um, let's go for this and see how it goes. I'm if, uh, if she ends up killing, then my debuff was for nothing. But I assume she's not going to kill. Pretty... Oh, 241. Pretty dang close there. Ooh, okay. Um... That's uh, that's quite a lot of damage. I'm, I'm glad that I at least was able to kill, um, nonetheless, but it would have been awesome if she would have been able to secure the kill on her own. Uh, then again, it would have made Bond a, a little bit useless there in that scenario. Uh, let's put some debuffs on. I'm interested to see. I, I, I would assume that this is going to kill the Gother, because even this card does pretty good damage, so wham. Oh, man. Don't embarrass me like this. I did pull a couple of extra copies of her finally. Uh, so she's now at 3-6. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. That's really what you want to see. You want to go up against the Escanor, and you want to see that he merges into these big golden cards whenever you fight him. That is always really what you're looking for. Uh, luckily, I did uh, put up a dissolve there, so that's really nice. We're going to keep fighting him with... <laughs> with Lilia because I want to see I want to see her do do the damage so we put on the five debuffs boom 166 man she's like she's like just I mean I know that you know she used to be really good and I say that because like at the time of her releasing um, she used to be able to shred just about any character in the meta Obviously, the meta has uh, kind of power crept a, 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 a tiny little bit here. Let's give her the windscreen, actually. Um, so the characters that she's facing nowadays uh, obviously are a little bit, a little bit tankier. Got a little bit, you know, more HP, more stats, more statistics, you know, uh, than maybe the ones in her time. So uh, it's understandable that she's not absolutely one-shotting these folks. But uh, hey. Um, Nice little, nice little underboob for you. <laughs> Either way, let's uh, let's move on. Alrighty, we have another team. Ooh, okay. Uh, not necessarily a Sins team because he's running Liz here. I'm not. I I'm I'm really <laughs> kind of just confused uh, about a team like this. I don't really understand what you're going for with this thing, but uh, I I guess that's uh, pr pretty cool of you. Um, very um, unique. I, there's not a whole lot of actual synergy going on here is the, is the problem. So, I mean, I assume 
with a team like this, you're just going for big damage, big CC, maybe playing for the Liz passive because she works with Sins and Angels? And you're running a Sins-esque team? I am a little, little blown away by that. Uh, AoE doing absolute chump change here. Unfortunately, it is a bot, so it's not really going to be anything super impressive. Um, let's go ahead and throw... Do you have Tarmia Link on her? You do. She's annoying. Really, really annoying with Tarmia Link on. So, um, before she gets the... Before she gets the stat boost, let's try to get rid of her if possible. We're just going to throw out the Bond card here just to try to get some extra damage on the board. Nothing too crazy, but hopefully it'll just help us get through the Tarmia Link a little bit. Level 2 Flood card. Level 2. Okay, 244. Pretty good. Honestly, just going for a level 2 over a level 1 increases the damage on that, like, by so much. I need to look at... Let me, um... I'll do a Bond combo on Escanor, probably, and then hit his Ragnarok Bond with my, uh, my Flood card here just to get him down to one unit. And we'll see how much the, the multiplier is there. Because it's at 200% of attack at level 1. Uh, might be a little bit of overkill here on the Escanor. And it is 300%. Okay, so it's a whole extra 100%. I was actually expecting it to be more. It feels like it hits way harder than just an extra 100%. But, you know, I guess it's fine. That does take off a lot of debuffs uh, by putting him into Final Flame. But we still have her passive maxed out. So 255. Not bad at all. Um... Overall, not too bad, I'd say. Uh, this is probably gonna hurt. Yeah, there's no debuffs on the uh, on the on the Escanor at all here, so we're we're losing all of Zeldris's passive in the back. She has no passive going. Um, bon also has no passive going. Quite a lot of debuffs needed for this team, unfortunately. But uh, either way, this was uh, okay. Hopefully, we can find some real players. Uh, moving on. All right, decent little loading screen here. Possibly a real player. We have a Bond team. 335k CC is pretty interesting. Um, with Bond and Deanne on the field, I think Deanne might end up becoming quite the menace. So let's go for... Mm, tough call here, actually. Uh, I kind of want to go for the Deanne... But at the same, like, I want to put up the stance so that way I can make sure that Lilia hopefully doesn't take any crazy damage. Because if I can keep Lilia from taking damage, um, the flood card will do more. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to secure the turn one kill here on the on the Dian, which honestly doesn't surprise me too much. I think if I was running a more aggressive team, like I just recently used Keo. Uh, I, th I don't know if that video comes out today. I think that video is tomorrow as of the time of this we're coming out. Um, but I used Keo and Roxy as well. Roxy's video is already out at this point. And uh, I think with both of those characters, I would have a lot more turn one potential, of course. But this one might not be as, as, as turn one heavy, you know what I mean? So let's try not to disable my Lilia here if possible. Um, I really need to start throwing up the Dissolve card after this turn so I can start controlling Ult Gauge. Uh, 155. That's not too bad. Um, unfortunately, because we disabled ourselves and I didn't pull any Bond cards that last turn, the Mark of Concentration does actually get removed here. So that's quite unfortunate. Um, his Mark of Concentration, on the other hand, is still going, which I guess is good for him. Um... He's got the most ultimate move gauge. I think what I'm going to do here is... I, I want to ult, but at the same time, I don't really think the ult's going to do too, too much. So let's just apply some more debuffs. We'll put a little bit of ult control out. This card hits a lot harder on level 2, so let's hope this does 250 or so. It does 180, which is not quite what I wanted to see there. Uh, we just cannot pull bond cards. It is Arthur City. Like, absolutely Arthur City in here. So that is not really what I want to see. Um, he can't really get through my Arthur either, which I guess is kind of good. Um, he might actually rock my Holy Relic here, which could be kind of cool, I guess. Uh, is this... I think my Tarmia Link is going to save me from it, unfortunately. So now I'm in uh, quite a bad position. 
Let's go for, let's go for max card draw if possible. I'm going to throw away this. We're going to pull her ultimate. We're going to put another stance on. This one's, this match is extremely slow. That patience on those two, there's a lot of damage reduction going on with the, uh, with the bond here. And Melly's got his own stacks to worry about. Deanne's got her, had her stance up, so that's a whole lot to worry about. I can't get any Pierce cards with either, which is really bad. Um, removes buffs from all enemies and inflicts damage equal to 420% of attack. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. This is going to cut down on my damage quite a bit, though. Hopefully, I can draw a Pierce card here. That'd be fantastic um, if it could happen, but it can't. So, um, let's put on debuffs, put on this, and then hopefully this is enough damage to kill. I really... Dude, Deanne is actually, like, a stupid, stupid good, like, tank wall crazy, like, unbeatable force. <laughs> I literally... I cannot get through this woman. Boom. And it's just... Uh, Deanne alone is literally... And I can't... I can't draw anything. I literally can't draw anything. I can't... I need one... One card. Bon is absolutely destroying me here. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Oh, I really need... Well, I guess if he dies, then I'll merge a lot. He, he dies. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm merging to a level 3 here, which is kind of cool. Pierce card, please. <laughs> okay, thank God. Um, ooh, but I really need to put on ult control right now. Um... I gotta get through this Deanne. If I don't get through this Deanne, I'm gonna go crazy. This should hopefully be enough. I'm concerned. Level three, baby! I am done. I'm done! I literally can't. I can't get through it. Okay, uh, moving on. That was embarrassing. Goodbye. Alright, we got a little bit of loading here, so it could be a real player. Uh, 340's not too bad. It makes me think that it's probably a real player, because um, 340 seems like a, a tough spot to get to without CC food. I mean, obviously I know that people can get that high. Um, let's go for maybe ult control into... I'm I'm immediately trying to get rid of the in here. This, like, I'm not going to go through the exact same thing that I just went through. I literally can't do it. I, I will go crazy. Um... The, is this actually going to be enough to kill, please? Okay, I, I was, I, I was, I feel like I was pretty close to not killing there, which would have been very concerning. Um, another bond combo, which is really good. Into we have, hmm, depending on how much damage she takes here, which uh, this lady does AOE's only, so could be a bit of a concern. I don't think this is a. I don't think this is a, a real player. I don't know. I, I get like a small loading screen and then I just assume that it's going to be real and it's not. I, I know. I always get comments about it. Yes, I know how to tell when it's a real player or not. I just, you know, I, I'm also working on, I'm working here. Okay, I'm working here. Uh, she didn't actually take that much damage. So let's try to go for the Lilia play out of curiosity because I'd like to see her do some decent damage here because it, I mean, we're using her for a reason. Um, what do we got? Level 2 Flood card. Wham. Okay, 178's not too bad. He's literally, like, um, I mean, Tristan's out, but he's, like, the newest festival in the game. So he does have some pretty decent stats. So I'm not necessarily surprised that we only did about half HP, but it didn't make me happy to see that, I guess. I almost completely, I almost forfeit out of pure luck there. Um... Okay, he's going for the Arthur, of course, because he's stanced. I can draw my ultimate. He doesn't have Dissolve on me, actually. He just keeps using the wrong card, so that's good for me. Uh, let's go for the combo on the Merlin, if possible, and then we'll throw out the, uh, the level 2 Flood card again on the Bond. Because if I can get rid of her, it'll get rid of a lot of the debuffs, I think. Well, we don't get rid of her, so... I guess I've also got that. And bam. So close, man. She's she's pretty close to being, like, pretty good. <laughs> but she's, like, just barely dropping the ball on this one. 
Um, I do have both ultimates, which is cool, I, I guess. Um, lots of debuffs on them already, so I don't really think I have to worry too much. We'll just go for the double ultimate play, and then we should be able to call it a day, I think. Uh, does this proc stun on him? Uh, I got attack sealed on her. I have the corrosion stack on him as well, so let's go for... Uh, hmm... Let's go for this to put extra debuffs on, so that way, I mean, Lily is already maxed out, but let's just go for extra debuffs, because why not? And then, this will probably kill Bon. I would hope so, I would assume. Yeah, 410 is honestly not insanely, like, crazy, but it is what it is, I guess. And then the Bon should be able to take these both out, so boom. Almost the same amount of damage with only two characters, so... Yeah, a little bit of a difference there. Power Strike goes kind of crazy, so either way, I think we got another one, yeah. So let's uh, let's do one more and we'll get out of here. Alrighty, now we have a demon team, which uh, will be either fun or not at all. Uh, one of those two things. We have Tarmia Link on the... Estoroso. I have a level 2 Pierce card. I'm gonna go for it, but I'm not gonna be happy about it, okay? Because I'm I'm willing to bet... <laughs> I'm willing to bet we don't kill here uh, for whatever reason. I don't know why, but just for some reason this team just doesn't seem to have the right damage to secure. Why am I not surprised? Literally 1 HP clutch there? I'm... I'm I'm sickened. I am sickened. Uh, now we have to deal with this bozo, which is going to be just great. I'm um, going to be debuffed. Uh, actually, he didn't go for the right card, which is good for me. That's that's great. Um, I don't know what is wrong with, with Arthur, but he is the target. Um, either way, we should be okay to hopefully kill Estorosha here. I, I would I would hope um, and then let's try to oh I'm disabled uh, and I can't mm, I can get my ult though I'm gonna throw this away I know that it's gonna be stupid and I'm gonna be like I can't drop Pierce cards but I might as well grab the ultimate while I can because this will kill thank you that <laughs> it, it's funny because I'm 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 positive that it probably was kind of close to not not killing. <laughs> That's also funny. Um, now we have ultimate. We have extra Pierce cards, surprisingly. And then it just depends on this melee card right here. This first melee card is going to make or break. I don't... Does that not kill? Oh, no, but the Tarmio link. Wait. No, it was the Tarmio link. I don't, dude, Red Tarmio just absolutely destroys this relic. This relic is literally unusable without... Without, or with the Tarmia Link. Okay, I, the one time I talk about it, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, let's put this on him. He'll cleanse off if I attack anymore. And then uh, we'll throw another one out afterwards. But we should be okay, hopefully. So, Mark of Concentration. And then we'll beat him. We'll beat him up. So, here we go. Boom. Okay, surprisingly, I mean... It's not surprising. I'm one six, but would love to would love to have a higher level up on this man. But uh, you know, uh, you know, things don't work always work out how you want to. But either way, uh, that's pretty much it. I I I don't recommend it. I I think that it was a it was a neat idea on paper. Lots of debuffs are being applied. You know, Lilia used to be really good. Um, obviously, she's not really good anymore. So there's always that. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, goodbye. Arthur. Cool.